just push that little bit more lap after lap. Oops. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's got a flat tyre. That's had contact. See the side pod damage there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Left corner off. So I reckon that's exactly the spot that we just saw. Well, I we're reckon pushing he's the limits. Rear. Yeah. And we found them. Zane got a oh. straight landed back here just recently. He's a local. He lives about five kilometres from the circuit, but has been living in the UK, as we mentioned. A lot of talent. Not too many uh, street circuits on that UK tour. No, we're thinking that this morning. It would have been a while. So, let's look, look he took a lot of kerb. And you see, he's actually... Took, just looked like it took a lot of initial kerb. And there, see how he's already unloaded? He's gone. Yeah, and I reckon that was all from the first impact. First kerb strike was too much. Now he's really struggling to steer it. He's out on the marbles. He's actually leaning away from the wall, willing this car to come back yeah, into but alignment. Yeah, referee is going to tag it. And wham. That'll rip the left rear corner off as it's designed to do there's wheel tethers to keep the wheel intact and uh it's actually believe it or not probably an hour and a half that car will be ready to go again uh, so there'll be no problems making the race just bolt a, a top and bottom arm they'll check the upright the brm boys but that'll be a quick repair obviously a, a rim damaged as well uh could be some drive shaft damage i'll inspect that the other big thing here as we just check it out from up above is it catches that left rear just so thankful that no other car was involved because had anyone been oh. a little bit closer, this is real, real speed. Look at that. Good heads up driving by the crews uh, to avoid looked, him. He actually looked like he tried to avoid whoever that was blazing on through there or trying to roll. So it's brought out the red flag, and I just wonder if we're going to have that much time to actually get this going again. Because